is Sunday morning and we are just getting up and getting our day started. Steven ran to Panera and got us breakfast. Bubby, what did you get? We got a free ride. Yeah. <laughs> Bubby, what'd you get? Steven just had to free a bird from the garage. It was trapped in there overnight. Bubby helped. Steven is eating a dozen bagels for breakfast. No, it's set at six and they're for the rest of the week. Bubby, say good morning. Do you want some? <laughs> Do you want some? We are going to eat breakfast and then um, I will catch up with you right after that. Just wrapped up breakfast and uh, going to go to the gym at 10.45, it's like 9.30 right now. So we'll head up there shortly. Um, and then this afternoon, Steven and I are going to go to our house, our favorite furniture store where so many pieces from our house have come from. I've mentioned it several times in many vlogs. And we're gonna look at new living room couches. I do wanna show you because so many of you asked over on Instagram where I was putting that new Opal House wallpaper from Target and I put it in our downstairs powder room. Now, I did a lot of research and really debated and Emily Henderson, whose Instagram I love, I will leave it linked down below. She is an interior designer, was on HGTV's Design Star like years ago, has a phenomenal book. She's someone I follow and love her aesthetic. Um, she did a lot of work with Target around styling with the Opal House and because they are such graphic wallpapers, she did recommend not using them like in full rooms instead of using them on like one focal wall, which I totally get because what I'm about to show you is like a very graphic black and white print. And when it's that graphic, to have it surround you would be a little overwhelming, especially in a powder room where it's such a small space. But I did do one wall um, and I also cleared out the room because now I have to re-accessorize it. Um, but this is the wallpaper. You can get a glimpse of it. The pattern was so ridiculously hard to match. But this is it. I love it so much. This whole room now will need some restyling. So Steven and I, while we're at our house, um, we're also going to check out West Elm to see if we can find like a really great shelf unit right here to go on this wall. And then over here, I'm going to check out our house for some really cool ball art. Oh, also, I got, let's make sure it gets to focus. I got my cell phone case. Um, this is an inaccurate, depiction of the brush the bangs out of the face and your girl is beautiful Hubble scene, but it's still so cool. I'm going to get ready to go to the gym. Oh, it was a tough one. There's a lot of running because it was an endurance day. My legs feel like jello. And I'm gonna get cleaned up because after lunch, Steven and I want to go to our house to scout out some furniture. Thank you for all the love for the new bathroom. We are loving it so much. I am watching Coachella and waiting for Beyonce. They're showing her two hour concert again. It was phenomenal. All right, time to get cleaned up so that we can hit the road and all that jazz. And I need to trim up this situation happening on my face. Steven is making dinner. The greatest thing about Blue Apron is he is learning to cook. Sometimes the firemen come. No, well, they're not coming tonight. What are you making? Um, Mexican beef and rice casserole. How's it gonna turn out, Bubby? To check out Bubby's new haircut. He's so fancy and handsome. So handsome. All right, I'm going to pour some wine. Steven is going to make dinner. Josie, one of our amazing community members, made me this beautiful knitted tapestry. It's so pretty. 
she reached out to me. She told me um, to pick a color, so I picked gray, and she made it for me. This is her shop, peonyknits.com. These are stunning. You should definitely go check them out. And I'm going to layer it into this shelf decor. Oh my gosh, Josie, that looks so cute there. That's the thing. I feel like when you get items like that, you try to hang them just by themselves. But if you layer them in behind something, it just adds a whole different dimension. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Thank you, Josie. Once again, her store is Peony and Knits. I didn't feel you went about the couch. So we ended up having them draft it because the setup they had in the store wasn't as big as we wanted it to be. So we ended up um, custom building the exact sectional that we want, which is great that our house lets you do it. And then what we did is we ended up matching the finish for all the legs of the couch to this our house chair. So it's gonna be really big, it has a chaise on one end. We're really excited about it. And um, Steven, because we wanted to make sure everything was measured out perfectly, he, this is what it's going to look like. The guy sketched it out for us. So it's 136 one way. 108 the other and Stephen is going to go order it all tomorrow after work we're both really excited about it mom on the phone also admitted that she never liked our pottery barn couches huh? she said she thought they were very uncomfortable for what we paid and I, I love how people just but I feel like that's how it always goes. It's like when you dump a person and then your family tells you, oh, we never liked them anyway. Typically, like any custom piece like that from our house is a good eight, what would you say, eight to 12 weeks? Yeah, at least. If not longer, it's so. the couch by this guy's on. His last hurrah. God knows he's had so many. This dog has had more couches than uh... a Kardashian. I am prepping my lunches for the week. So in here I have two cans of chickpeas and I'm just gonna cook them until they soften on like medium low with some barbecue sauce. And then I have some sweet potato roasting in the toaster oven. And those are just gonna go into sealed containers. And then I'm gonna throw like a tortilla, some arugula, the chickpeas, the sweet potatoes in my lunchbox and make wraps for the week. And then have like a little Brussels sprout salad on the side and that will be lunch. Good job, babe. Thank you. Look at you, you're a cook. A shot. Well, a cook. All right, I am just going to prep tomorrow's lunch. So I'm adding some of the barbecued chickpeas. I'm gonna grab some of the sweet potato and then just some arugula. And then I'm just gonna cut it in half. I already have some organic cleaned shaved Brussels sprouts. So I'm going to go ahead and throw those in the other side of my bento box. Now I just have some washed red grapes. This is actually a play off a salad I had last night on date night. It was shaved Brussels sprouts, um, some grapes, and a mustard dressing, and it was so good. The grapes with the Brussels sprouts and the mustard was fantastic. Sprinkle just a couple walnuts on there. Snap my lid on. Then I can just stack my bento boxes on top of each other. Prepping breakfast is the easiest thing because I actually keep a bowl and spoon there so I can just take my half cup of organic oatmeal and throw it in a Ziploc bag. I'm just going to throw a couple walnuts in there. I also keep honey in my office, so I will have that there to drizzle over. Just rinse off a couple raspberries, dry them off, throw them in a bag, and then I'm all set. And now I'm just going to pack one snack for the day. I'm just going to throw three wasa crackers 
in the bag. And I'm just going to put two tablespoons of hummus in there. And what I'm going to do for this one is add some red crushed pepper. For a couple extra greens, I'm actually going to throw some arugula in here. And I can put that on top of my wasa crackers. Here you can see my full day. So my snacks for the day are this clementine, this hummus and arugula you just saw me prep, and the wasa crackers. I also have five gingerbread cookies um, that I'll have with my tea in the afternoon. I always take two teas, don't know which one I'll have. My oatmeal, chia seeds, walnuts are in this bag with some raspberries. And then for lunch I have that barbecue chickpea wrap and the Brussels sprout salad. So that's all going in my monster lunchbox. I love this thing. I found it on Amazon and I absolutely love it. Hey everyone, so it is Monday. I am home from work and Tonight for dinner, we are going to keep it really simple and just do some spaghetti. So I am just going to uh, tell you what I tell you all the time. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.